Hi everybody, Zach Mitchell here, and I'm here for another um, uh, music video. Um, I'm going to be showing you something very special that I got this weekend, Father's Day weekend. <clears throat> um, I believe it was June 3rd that the first three Led Zeppelin albums were reissued uh, in three different um, formats. One was a CD, the other was a uh, vinyl reissue, and the other was a super deluxe edition box set for all for each of the three albums. Now, I was going to get the uh, super deluxe edition box set, but it's just it's way too much money. So uh, maybe someday, but not right this moment because I'm not made of money. So what I did was I went to the record store and I got all three of the new Led Zeppelin reissues. Here they are. Get them out like this here. So today I'm going to be unboxing them, or opening them, to show you exactly what they are. So here is the first album, Led Zeppelin. Their debut album from 1969. Here's the, what the original album cover looked like, and on the back they have a negative color um, picture of it. You open it up. This is a triple album. On the back is, this is what the original back of the album looks like. And you'll notice that a lot of the writing credits have now changed. Like, uh, Dazed and Confused, you can, I'm not really sure if you can see it that well, but... It says, by Page, inspired by Jake Holmes. I talked about that in a previous video, that Led Zeppelin did rip off a lot of the songs that they did. But here, open it up like this. Some more pictures of the band. And then when you open this up, there are the boys. Jimmy Page, John Bonham, Robert Plant, and John Paul Jones. And over here, it shows the track listings for the... Um, two vinyl discs that come with it. And the sound quality on these remasters are superb. I had um, all of the Led Zeppelin al I have all of the Led Zeppelin albums on CD, and I have Led Zeppelin 1, the original album, on vinyl. But this is much better sounding. Here is, when you pull it out, this is what it looks like. It's in the original paper sleeve comes out like this. Has the original Atlantic pressings. So this this remaster came with the original album. And it also came with a bonus live concert from 1969 in Paris when they first um, started touring. So I'm not going to bother taking that out, but they play Good Times, Bad Times, which goes into Communication Breakdown. They, they play You Shook Me, an 11-minute version of it. They play Heartbreaker, for some reason. That should probably be on Led Zeppelin 2, I think. They do Dazed and Confused, a 15-minute version. Then Jimmy Page takes over and does White Summer and Black Mountain Side, which goes in 9 minutes. Then they do Moby Dick, which again should probably be on Led Zeppelin 2. Then they do I Can't Quit You Baby and how many more times live. So that's Led Zeppelin 1, the remastered vinyl. Very happy with it. I think they did a, Jimmy Page did a very good job remastering these. Next is Led Zeppelin 2. This is what the original front of the album looked like and on the back they have just um, negative colors again. You open it up this is what it originally looked like when you opened up the original album. There's the track listings. But then, again, this is a double album, so it comes with some supplements. Comes with the original remastered album in the paper sleeve. A little dusty from my turntable that I was sitting on a minute ago. So yeah, that's the original Atlantic pressings. 
Now, unlike a Led Zeppelin 1, the remaster, this did not come with any live, uh, any live material on the uh, bonus vinyl that it comes with, which I thought was kind of disappointing because, um, I mean, I love what it comes with. It, it comes with some alternate takes and some outtakes from the studio on vinyl here. Let me see exactly what it does with. A rough mix of a whole lot of love and what is and what should never be. The backing track for Thank You, which is kind of cool. You get to hear uh, the song Thank You without Robert Plant's vocals on it. You got a backing track for Moby Dick. A rough mix of Heartbreaker. The backing track for Living Loving Maid. The rough mix of Ramble On. And an unreleased song called La La, which I think is pretty cool. But again, I mean, I'm a fan of that stuff, but again, I, I kind of would have... Uh, appreciated some live stuff from the album. But Jimmy Page decided to do that. And I'm happy with it. Last but not least, Led Zeppelin 3. This is a cool one. Because it comes with the original wheel inside of the cover that spins. The pictures inside of these uh, circles here uh, change when you turn the wheel. I'm kind of crushing it there. It was working. Here. There, see? Turn the wheel, and that's what it originally did. Pretty cool, but Jimmy Page had a different idea for the album, so he wasn't really happy with it, but he loved it enough to do it again. So this is what the original front of the album looked like, and on the back of it, it has, again, negative pictures. Open it up. Very cool. And again, this came with um, the original album, obviously, remastered. Get it out. The original paper sleeve. Atlantic pressings. And again, it came with um, some um, alternate takes, backing tracks, and... Uh, other goodies from the studio. Let me see exactly what I did come with. An alternate mix of the Immigrant Song, uh, the uh, backing tracks for the song Friends, the alternate mix of Celebration Day, a rough mix of Since I've Been Loving You, the backing tracks for Bathroom Sound, the rough mix of Gallows Pole, a uh, rough mix of That's the Way, a rough mix of... Uh, Jennings Farm Blues, and uh, once again, an, a never-released song before, Key to the Highway and Trouble in Mind. So, I think that's awesome. Let me put this back into the... Yeah. It's kind of hard to get in here. That's what she said. I'll, I'll do it later. So, that is the, those are the Led Zeppelin reissues on vinyl. Uh, I'm very happy with them. I'm very glad that I bought them. Um, and if you are a Zeppelin fan, I highly recommend getting this or the CD, whichever you prefer, because the sound quality on these are superb. Much better than the CDs and better, much better than the original vinyl albums. So, until next time, I'm Zach Mitchell, and this has been another music video.